This is Janae from the Itch to Stitch. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the BX files for the Intertwine Vine font with free software from Embrilliance. When you visit the itchtostitch.com, you will see that we offer Intertwine Vine in two different packages. The first is our smaller set, which includes the sizes 1.5 inch, 2.5 inch, and 3.5 inch. We also have our jumbo set, which features a split, fill, a split satin stitch and those sizes are 4.5 inch and larger. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the BX files for the regular sizes. However, the technique is exactly the same for our jumbo sizes. In a separate video, I demonstrate how to use uh, several of our three letter monograms. And when you type these, the way it, three letter monograms map and in Brilliance, you simply type your letters from left to right and it automatically brings in the left A, the middle B, and the right C when you type the letters from left to right and it doesn't matter if you use uppercase or lowercase letters. That's the way they are um, set up to bring in letters when there are three file types for each letter depending upon the position. However, Intertwine Vine is a little bit different and I want to demonstrate how to use the software um, with um, intertwined vine in a variety of ways. I'm going to click the A button, which creates letters. Let me show you why we map this um, to be a case sensitive alphabet. The capital A and the lowercase a are going to bring in two different files. I'm going to scroll down to my intertwined vine 2.5 inch. You will see that a capital A brings in the larger swirly letter that's intended to go in the center of a monogram and a lowercase a brings in the smaller, simpler letter that's intended to go both on the left and the right hand side of the monogram. So when you type a three letter monogram in this font, you need to pay attention to the case. So for my monogram, J is my first initial, I will type a lowercase j. My uh, last name starts with a T, so I will use a capital T in the center and then type a lowercase c to finish off my monogram and click set. And that brings in my three letter, mon letter monogram. Let me show you how I'm going to tidy this up. I will click the green square in the center of my T and I'm going to click this button that centers the design and hoop to ensure that my T is perfectly centered. Then I'm going to highlight my J and using the arrow keys on my computer I'm just going to nudge the J and C in so it interlocks the way I want. This is kind of personal preference but I tend to line up those swirls with the L indentation here on the letters so you can kind of see that there as well. I like to scroll out to kind of get a bird's eye view and make sure overall do I like the look of my monogram and I do like this. So the last thing I'm going to do before I save it is work on the stitch order. As you can see it's going to stitch this from left to right so it will stitch the J and then it will stitch the T on top and then it will stitch the C on top of the T. And generally we like the center letter to either be on bottom or top, but not, in, not a little bit of both. And you can do that by selecting the T, you go up to edit, sequence objects. If I select move first, it will have my embroidery machine stitch the T first and then put the J and the C on top. If however you like your center letter to be stitched last, you can instead sequence the objects to move this last. So my machine will stitch the J and the C first and then plop the T on top of that. I can now save and go to my machine. Let me demonstrate why we selected, um, why we chose to do this as a case sensitive font and um, a couple different style of monograms you can use because we did it this way. Let's say I really like that scrolly fancy T that I want to be in the center. And so I'm gonna go back down to my 2.5 inch size. But let's say I want my three letter monogram to be super fancy and I wanna use the scrolly letters for the left and right hand side as well. I can do that by creating a separate lettering object, typing a capital J and a capital C, but in this case, choosing a smaller size, the 1.5 inch size. Now I can move these around and maybe to get the look I want, I might end up having to bump out to a different hoop size. This may end up being too big for my four x four hoop. 
but you can see that I'm able to create a different style monogram using all capital letters, but different sizes to create a three letter monogram. Similarly, I could make a very simple monogram. Maybe I don't like the ornate swirls for this particular project. I could use a lowercase t of the 2.5 inch size for the center and then create another lettering object, typing a lowercase j and a lowercase c of the 1.5 inch size. I'm going to um, use the word space to spread those apart. And very quickly, I have a new monogram that's much more simplistic using my initials. So as you can see, there's lots of flexibility with this font. You can do your monogram in the traditional format, or you could make it extra swirly using two different sizes of capital letters, or make it very simplistic by using two different sizes of the lowercase letters. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos for more helpful tips.